In this video, we're going to be given some information about some polynomials, and we're going to be asked some questions. Uh, we need to know the complex conjugate theorem um, that says that every time that you have an imaginary or complex solution, then its conjugate is also a solution. Okay, um, so let's start with this. Suppose that r of x is a polynomial of degree 9, whose coefficients are real numbers. Also suppose that r of x has the following zeros, 3, negative 7, negative 2 plus 3i, and 4i. Find another zero of r of x. Okay, so if you know the complex conjugate theorem, you know that if negative 2 plus 3i is a zero, then negative 2 minus 3i is also a zero. And if you want another one, if you know that 0 plus 4i, that's how I want to write it, so I can write it as a plus bi. If 0 plus 4i is a 0, then 0 minus 4i is a 0. So negative 4i, so that's a couple of zeros that we have there. Okay, so the next question says, what is the maximum number of real zeros that we can have? Okay, well, if we know that it's degree 9, and we know that we have 1, 2, 3, Four, at least four complex zeros. Okay, so four of them, so subtract nine minus four, you get five. So the maximum number of real zeros that it could have is five. Okay, that's because we took out the complex and then we subtracted that from nine. What's the maximum number of non-real zeros that we could have? Okay, well, we have we have four for sure. One, two, three, four. All right. And we're given these two others, 5, 6, that leaves three more. Okay, so you might want to say, well, we've got, the, we've got the 4 and you add 3. But that's not possible because complex solutions always come in pairs. You have to have an even number. So you can't have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7 for the rest of them. You could have 6, though. Okay, so if we had another pair of these these complex solutions, then that would make a total of six, but we don't have enough degree in order to have even another pair, okay? So the maximum we could have is one, two, three, four, and then a couple more, so five, six, okay? Let's look at the next one. So this polynomial has degree seven, and it has the following zeros, so we're given both complex zeros. Find another zero of r of x. Okay, well, if i is a zero, then negative i is a zero. And if negative 2 minus 2i is a zero, then negative 2 plus 2i is a zero. They only asked us to find one, but there's two. Okay, what is the maximum number of real zeros that r of x can have? Okay, well, if we know we have 1, 2, 3, 4 complex, that leaves three more. Okay, so 7 minus 4 equals 3. What's the maximum number of non-real zeros that we can have? Okay, so let's see. We, we know we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We know they have to come in pairs. So you could have up to 6, 2, 4, 6. You can't have 7 because they come in pairs. So they have to come in even amounts. So if two more of the zeros were complex, then we could have up to 6. Okay, let's look at this one. So we have a polynomial degree 10. And we're given negative 2, 5, 6, and then this complex, the negative 5 plus 3i. Find another 0, so negative 5 minus 3i is a 0 because of the complex conjugate theorem. What's the maximum number of real zeros you can have? Okay, well, we have 10 total minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, actually, excuse me, 10 minus the 2 that we know are complex could be a total of 8. And the maximum number of non-real zeros, remember, it has to be an even number. Okay, so if, it's, if we know three of them are real out of ten, that's ten minus three equals seven. Okay, but it has to be an even number, so we'll say six. Only six of them could be because we know we already have three of them that are real. All right, last one here. So this one has degree 11. And we're given 3i and negative 1 plus i. So another 0 would be negative 3i. And yet another 0 would be negative 1 minus i. Complex conjugate theorem. 
um, what is the maximum number of real zeros that it can have? Okay, well, we know 1, 2, 3, 4 are for sure complex. So 11 minus 4 equals 7. Okay, so we could have up to 7 real zeros. What is the maximum number of non-real zeros that we can have? Okay, well, we know it has to be an even number. We're not told that any of them are real. But we do know it has to be an even number, so it can't be 11. So what's the smallest even number less than 11? 10. So we could have up to 10 non-real answers.